Right, hello. My phone is going mental. I need to mute that. But welcome back. I'm going to just, just slightly tweak that. Deadline day is upon us, boys. It's been a long wait, but it is finally here. Hello, Sub. How you doing, man? Hope you're having a good day. It's going to be an interesting one today, I think. It's going to be an interesting one today. Yo, Shrubs, how you doing, man? Uh, hope you're having a good day. What are you guys saying? Everyone having a good day, I hope. Hopefully so. We've got the chat up there. Um, and I'll just, I just need to bring that in. Uh, what we're saying for sign is, do, do we think we're getting Obafemi done? Or what are we saying? What are we saying? Uh, it was good until half three. How come, man? How come? What happened? What happened? Oh, wait, I just need to quickly throw this on. I'm just getting the sky deadline date up as well. Because then, obviously, we can... We can have a look at that. What was up? What's happened to make it not as good? I think this Obafemi deal is going to happen, by the way, guys, if you don't know. Oh, sorry, shrubs, man. Hope things are going okay. I do think we are going to get Obafemi. Sam sat in the bath with... You're with your missus in the bath. Nice, nice, nice. Hello, it's me from the Critic Club. I own. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, I hope you're having a nice day. I, <laughs> but nothing to worry about. All right, good, shrubs. Good, good, good. Um, we need to get deadline day. I, I rate that, Sam. I rate that. Uh, Owen, I hope you're having a good day. Um, what are we saying for signings, guys? What? Who do you think? How many more we're getting in? How many more do you reckon? I'm going to go with another two, potentially three. Potentially three. All right, we've got the deadline day. Is up. I'm just gonna turn that down. <sighs> one more, one more. Who are we saying? What you reckon? What you reckon? What you reckon, Shrubs? Um, where is it? Centre back and midfield. You think we're gonna get midfield? Do you not think we're getting another striker? In? Or do you think Halil is that guy? I think we're getting Obafemi. To be honest, I really think we're getting Obafemi in. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really confident about us getting Obafemi. Uh, man, if we send Jorginho, imagine Jacob. That'd be that'd be crazy. That Jorginho just rocks up at turf. Oh, Jorginho just rocks up to the turf. I think we have got that ex Chelsea. Yeah, but I think he's going to the under twenty ones to be uh, under twenty. Yeah, under twenty ones. How many is it so far? We've just signed one so far. Halil is the only guy. Um, Tyc. Uh, if you don't mind just saying that. Um, we got Roddy Barnes in the Turkish side. Yeah, but I don't think Barnes is good enough, to be honest. And if you think about it, if one of them gets injured, then we're looking at... it's it, Then we're down to, like, two strikers. And Halil is good, but I don't think he's necessarily clinical. I, I want Obafemi. I think Obafemi would be sick for us if we get him in. If we can get him in, that is the problem, though, isn't it? Like, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Hairs and iron, sorry. But a lot of money for Obafemi. Bonds is shit. No good for Exactly. Thank you. Thank you to you, I see. He is. He's awful, isn't he? Honestly, I, I, when Barnes comes on, I want to walk out the stadium. It's so annoying. He's awful. Going to West Brom. Hey, West, no, I'm not going to West Brom, man. I can't. So there'll be a live watch along on the channel instead. Yeah, I kind of get there. Because I've been travelling a load to obviously make it to Wigan and then Millwall and... It's just so much travelling. I'm hoping I can maybe get an Norwich, but I'm still unsure on that one. If not, any games that I miss, I'll do a watch along. Don't worry about it. Uh, two old bonds. Yeah, like... Ugh. Jacob Walls. <laughs> Sam, shut the fuck. Uh, yeah, honestly, Barnes proper pisses me off. 3-1 Blackpool, Barnes. Like, exactly, man. He's so dead. What team does I'll be playing for? Swansea at the moment. It looks like they want about 10 million. I think we can... Possibly, like we've had two bids turned around, we've gone in with a third, and at the moment, there's nothing going to. Oh, yeah, then don't go off to Wolves, <sighs> shrubs. That's peak, that is that is robes for you. That is robes for you. I've <sighs> just seen there's nothing coming through. I'm, I think we're gonna get this German lad, but did we bid nine million? I think it was about eight, mate. I think it was about eight. I saw eight million four up front with add ons rising, uh, yeah, so. We'll see. Tabellin as well too much, but I rate up Femi. Yeah, I, I would like if we can get him for maybe ten million. <laughs> uh, 
Um, Marcel Lewis. Yeah, that guy. Um, oh, well, I wasted money on Black Hole. What's Black Hole? See if there's any Burnley news at the moment. Um, no, there's not too much going on at the moment. Man, you are on. Oh, right now, yeah, I know. I know, but I'd rather watch Deadline Day, to be honest. Yes, Rubs, that is on 500. The road is on 500 by the end of September, hopefully. Uh, Blackpool versus Blackburn. What we say in score prediction? Wait, did that? Fi- I swear that was yesterday, wasn't it? Blackpool versus Blackburn. Was that like yesterday? Blackpool versus Blackburn. Uh, Diaz is staying. It looks like, oh, yeah, Blackburn won. Ben Brereton, yeah. It looks like Diaz is off, to be fair, though. Um, Blackburn. 2-0. The one one nil, didn't they? I think. Um Honestly, I think when K- Obafemi comes in and I'm generally this window is like ten out of ten. Um also why does Shrubs have a spanner and I don't because Shrubs is a mod Sam. Yeah, I wasted all my money on it. Where is Diaz going? Possibly Everton, I think. You're getting the away shirt tomorrow. I think I am gonna get it, yeah. Um going to Fulham Diaz. Do you reckon? I've seen that it could be Everton. Uh, is Brownell going? No, I think Brownell's, Brownell's staying. Brownell's staying, isn't he? Come on. Come on, boys. Brownhill is staying. Let's be real. Let's be real. Uh, rumours. It's just rumours, man. It's just people trying to fear among I'm telling you. He, he's staying, though. We've got nothing to worry about with, with Brownie, I don't think. Where's Corny? Corny went uh, West Ham, didn't he, ages ago? Rumour, yeah, it was just a rumour. People honestly absolutely love it, don't they? Just make and stuff up. Uh, yeah, he went West Ham. I'm s- <laughs> no, we've turned down. Yeah, I know. We- with with Browner, we've turned down some big deals. Like I think we're very happy to stay in. His brother on Twitter said stuff. Yeah, we're on 15 signings. I'm expecting 17, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so yeah, Andy Jones. Understand Burnley've had a second bid for Swansea striker. Michael Obafemi rejected. Understand offer was rising. Around 8 million was made, but it was on top of significant add-ons, which I think was around 4 million in add-ons. Uh, and it looks like we've gone back in. So we'll just see. That Bayer that's supposed to be coming in, we've got a close to buy if we do get promotion. So it could, it, we could have an interesting night tonight. It could be interesting. We could have two or three more coming through the door. We'll see, we'll see. And where the f- is Mason Greenwood? He got bailed from jail. Um, Dylan, Keaton Brown has key, especially when we have little time to place him. Exactly. We've had a third... Re- yeah, I've seen that. Uh, is it re- rejected? I know we'll put a third one in, but I don't think it's been rejected as yet, is it? And Marcel Lewis is imminent, obviously. Uh, how many signings now? Yeah, we can't let Brown go, man. He's so good. He's so key to how we're playing. We've got min- minimal time. If we get the other players, will they be announced tonight? Yeah, they will be announced tonight. If, when they get announced, I'll play the announcement video on the stream um, as soon as I get the notification to say that it's been announced. Don't worry. Um, Marcel Lewis. Is Marcel Lewis going to the first team? He is, isn't he? Is he from that? He's from that union. Where is he? Burnley made for, yeah, he came through Chelsea's academy, what team do you not like, oh, I don't like Blackburn, Manish, welcome to the stream though, Manish, hope you're having a good day, obviously not Blackburn, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Newcastle, to be honest with you, Shrubs doesn't like West Brom, yeah, everyone, drop the team, your least favourite team in the comments, we'll see, we'll see, it's, it's gone a bit quiet, the thing is with the um, Obafemi thing, right, Obviously, we heard loads of stuff up until 1 o'clock, and then it went dead. And now it's kind of picked back up again, saying we've had another bid rejected and all that stuff. Yeah, everyone, Blackburn, Blackburn, Blackburn. What's wrong with Blackburn? Shut up, shrubs. Don't start that. Don't start that. Mike Lomer for me to stay at Swansea after talks with Burnley over a move, failed to reach agreement. Vincent Company wanted the Republic of Ireland as striker as a priority signing. Ah... I don't think we should, to be honest. But <laughs> if they've rejected the third offer, which I understand would probably be around nine million, he's not worth it. Come on, he's not worth more than nine. Considering we do already have three strikers, I wouldn't be paying over nine for him. I don't blame Pace for not doing so. I don't think he's worth it. Hey, let me tell you, you have a midget called Diaz from Blackburn. His goal was good, but he passes out on my mailbox. <laughs> um, I'm not sure about the whole striker, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. We'll still get May. Yeah, May and Lewis. I don't know if Lewis is even going to be in the first team, though, is he? They want 12. Um, I think I saw 10, to be honest. They want 10 straight up. Um, But 
I don't think we're going to go over that. Will Norris, I mean, I don't think he's ever actually played for us, to be honest. But obviously, we've got J-Rod lining, leading the front line now um, with potential signings. I mean, like Zaruri, Twine all are coming, who can all like play there. I mean, unless we make a last-ditch move for someone. Whole striker, I don't... I don't who is the whole striker? When I watched him against us, he wasn't unbelievable. It, I don't know if he'd suit our system as such as well. Um, but I don't know what you guys think about the whole striker. I'm a bit let down about the other Femi deal, to be honest with you. But I really, really wanted him. I was going to get him on the back of the third kit. As soon as, yeah, I'm not too over. Like. <laughs> We should stop playing chilling over young, but yeah, I'm, I'm agree with that. So many players coming in now who will be on the bench. Yeah, I know it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna get the away kit. I like Jerry, but he is sub at best. He has passed it. No, J Rod's J Rod's been amazing for us, man. Honestly, um, uh, would you rather kill the whole lot? Well, United versus Leicester. Um, two one United, I think. Um. No, oh, for me, J-Rod's been unbelievable for us. One of our best players, really. Honestly, yeah. I don't know how people don't rate him, man. He's so underrated. So underrated. He's literally... He's been unreal. I mean, he's consistently going to score. He's going to probably score 2-5. 2-5? Uh, 25 goals this season. Light work. Uh, J-Rod is great at home possession. Yeah, exactly. He's perfect, man. Honestly. Best player of him and Barnes. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think Zaruri and Twine could do a shift there, though, to be honest. Um, yeah, definitely so. We'll see, though. Like, I just want Barnes off bench, to be honest with you. That's why I wanted Obafemi in more than anything. Having Barnes on bench constantly just makes us worse. You do not need... No one needs Barnes shrubs. No one in the professional football league needs Ashley Barnes in their 11 or on the bench or in the squad or even looking at the players. Uh, apparently, I'll be me staying at Swansea. Yeah, I've just I've just heard that. But I mean, if it's more than nine, then I'm quite happy with that. We're going to kill the whole Blackburn team and kill a strict wanker parent. Uh, definitely the whole Blackburn team. Give up me. Honestly, I would pay for Barnes to go. Barnes only for the change room. Well, Barnes will probably just try and get everyone drunk and drive a car like he does, to be honest. Uh, Obafemi dead, yeah, sadly. Hey, Shrubs, go for a Joe Perot from Swansea, man. Should have got him in. Or Obafemi, even. Uh, um, couldn't score against Burnley under sevens. Exactly, mate. Honestly, he's so bad. Um, What we got coming in? Uh, Couldn't score. <laughs> so, yeah, Marcel Lewis expected to come in. Oh, what are we saying? Do you think this 20-year-old, he came through the uh, Chelsea Academy and then went to Royal Union St. Gilloise? What are we saying? Is he going to be starting? Is he going to be in first team? Is he going to be in under-21s, under-23s? Um, Barnes to Wrexham. <laughs> uh, Luke Cundell in the Championship. Is he going to do good? Luke Cundell, where's he from? As soon as Barnes come on, he falls to the crowd. Exactly, mate. That is literally the only thing he can do. Like, it's all right at times, but it's all he does, man. Like, you see Benson will go past someone. At least it looks like he's been fouled. Uh, what is your opinion on Dendonka? Aaron's for right back. Yeah, Max Aaron's. I think he's going to be good this season again. Wolves, he's on loan. I don't know, man. I've not really seen too much from Maya Lewis and we play we link with late. Is that what you reckon? Yeah, I think Maya Lewis, and I, do I think we'll probably get three in. I think we might get three in. But I don't know, like I said, I don't know if Lewis has been a first team signing. Um, let me just try to find out. He's a centre midfielder, isn't he? Barnes comes on to take pens, but I say he comes on to be a wanker, Neymar cry, baby. <laughs> he's just, na he's Neymar without the technical skill. Let's be real. Let's be real, Jago. Uh, I'm sad because he was good as a centre mid and centre back. I was, and a centre back, I was shocked. Fair enough, man. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Dendonk has always been decent. No, it looks like Lewis is going to the under-21, so I wouldn't really count it. What have we got here? Is that Aubameyang? Aubameyang's just arrived in Chelsea. Jeez. Oh, they're pushing the camera away from him. They're recording Aubameyang and some boss man in a white t-shirt shoving him out of the way. That's not very nice. Boy, they've already recorded them. Why are you shoving that? What? And I can't score one hat trick. Um, 
uh, has Barnes had anything since that volley against Wolves. Honestly, that was an unreal day, but he's just, he's not been good enough for two years. Come on, like, he's League One at best. Halil's number, I'll try to have a look. Who was your best signing so far? I like the Brazilian. Who's. Yep, we love the Brazilian. Wait there. Let me try and. Oh, is it downstairs? No! The Brazil vest is downstairs! No! The Brazil vest is downstairs. But yeah, we love it. I'm getting Vitinho on the back. I think the Brazilian lad. Um, Halil's number. Let me have a look. Uh, Vitinho. Vitinho. We love Vitinho, man. No. I know it's downstairs, man. I'm fuming. Burnley official. What we're saying for Halil's number. Um, oh, Bobby Thomas has gone away on loan as well, by the way, to Bristol Rovers, if you didn't know. No, there's nothing on Halil's number yet, I don't think. Just watching the video about to see if there's anything. Um, does people give you headaches when they say Maguire is the goat? Yes. What? I've never heard anyone say Maguire is the goat, to be honest. Um, uh, Josh Cullen could be considered our best. Of Cullen's been unbelievable business. He turned down Prem clubs to come with. Like, like you know, man, he's so good. He's so, so good. Um, but with the Brentford about being on only being on loan, I'm I'm not too bothered. Out this so far, if we get that German lad in to ten, honestly, only thing we potentially could have needed was another um Exactly C Barker. How can Maguire be the goal when Vitinho plays? How? How? Collins has been decent for Azzy, yeah, what, what are your thinks on that, Shrubs? Because I know he has not been as good as he maybe was for us. Like, I know when I've watched him, he's been kind of skinned a couple of times. And he's been he's been a bit a bit dodgy. Um, Jacob, you're allergic to it because he scores more goals. Has he scored for you? He is a threat in the air, like, to be fair to him. Uh, winger, we need one more. Um, for me, I wanted a striker. Uh, <laughs> even if it's one there. Striker, we've obviously got a centre-half coming in. Yeah, I just wanted to strike in the centre half. That's all I've been saying. Bayer is happening. Yeah, pretty much agreed. If we go up, we get uh, a buy clause. Like, I'm from what I've seen, he's also his girlfriend put on her Instagram like goodbye, good luck, all that good stuff, um, all that stuff. Uh, if we don't get up with him, Teller can easily play a striker. Yeah, true. I mean, Teller can play there, and obviously we've got J, we've got. Uh, uh, Desavoglu, I think that's how you say it. Um, so, it's not bad at most. We've got Twine, Anna, obviously Tella. Yeah, I agree. Strike, obviously, would rather a perman, not alone, by the way. Yeah, exactly, man, honestly. Uh, to be fair, though, with Halil Devasoglu, uh, he's, only, he's only got one year on his contract after this loan, so we probably could get him in for cheap. To be fair, Devasoglu could be good replacement for Barnes off the bench. Yeah, I just want Barnes off the bench. That, that's it. I just want Barnes to be binned. Uh, yeah, Twine can play there. I prefer Twine, not Uber, though. He's been very good. We needed Height and Collins and Kilman complement each other. Yeah, true, true. I think Dendonka leaving is weird. Uh, yeah, I think it is strange for him to go. I'm going to put a poll in. What would you have preferred going into today? Obafemi. Or Halil. What are we saying? Is it in there? Is it? Yeah, we go. What are we saying? Everyone in the chat is Pamatino. People only rate Barnes because he has been at the club. Yeah, exactly. Like I understand you've got to have loyalty, but when we're pushing for a promotion, you can't hold on and rest on your loyals and be like, oh yeah, but we've got this, we've got this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, j -Rod has been class, by the way. c -Bark. Honestly, I've really rated him. Um, honestly, I really, really, really have. Uh, I think Jero has been class for us, perfect. Um, really, people saying hello, love Arbafemi. Really, jeez, how come? Let me know. What? Why? Why would you prefer hello on loan over Arbafemi on a permanent? 
I get Obafemi probably has a bit more money, but... Oh, it's 50-50. It's it. Obafemi's pulling it back. Uh, Obafemi's working back in. But yeah, like... I would have preferred a permanent, obviously, to come in. But at the end of the day, we just need Barnes off of that bench before... I see him come on, I just top it. Alright, sub. So fair enough, fair enough. Um... 1-0 United. Who's, who scored? Who scored, Srubs? Oh, Tiano. Sancho again. Do I vote for Ballon d'Or when I down score Benzema? Ah, nah. Oh, it's 1-0 Leicester. Leicester 1-up. Jeez. Yeah, honestly. I don't know if you've watched the blog. The, the blog? The vlog. It's just said 1-0 Leicester, yeah. Hello, Mr. K. I don't know if you've watched the vlog, but when I saw Barnes coming on. Jesus. I wanted to cry. Honestly, I really did just want to cry. Hope you're having a good day, Mr. K. What we saying? Um, Billy Gilmore obviously having his medical at Brighton as well, by the way. So we're looking. People preferring Halil. That is, an in that is interesting. That is interesting. Honestly, that is a... That is a, a wild one. That is a wild one. Sancho notes one. It says on here, Leicester are one up. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think if we get promoted, we need to sign Matson. So for me, Matson, I was set on. But then when Vitinho's came in, Vitinho, for me, he's been better than Matson has been. So I'm not too fussed about signing Matson. But how are Bellis and Teller? Teller's got to be priority. And then Bellis, I think if we go up, we get definitely get Howard Bellis. We could potentially even get Teller. Uh, Sancho. Really, little one 0 United, alright, fair enough. Um, so your tellers and say seller is unreal. I sacrifice my pet. Yeah, honestly, Harwood Bellis. Wow, he is some centre half. So young, he looks so mature on the ball. It's crazy. Like he just looks experienced. It's mental. Yeah, honestly, he's, he's so he just he's Rolls Royce and he I think better than Tarky. I'm just I'm just saying. Um, so. That lad that we had, that lad that we had coming in, um, the centre half from Joe. Uh, I mean, Halil was twenty one at Brentford, but sixty seven when he's in Turkey. Uh, currently with Vitinho's form, Matson should not replace him. No, yeah, I think Matson has to work through it. Passes through a beautiful as well. Yeah, spot on, uh, Barker. Um, but yeah, Vitinho's on Vitinho. He only cost us a million. And we think he's fucking brilliant. Vertini. Oh. Absolute boss, man. Good ball playing. Yeah. He's unreal. He's passing. He's ridiculous. Um, right. The numbers Halil could have are 12, 13, 16, 23, 28. Bobby Thomas has obviously gone out on loan. So 16 is now avail available. Um. Kilman, <laughs> good Paul playing defender. Honestly, he's so good. Um, yeah, it looks like Obafemi is staying put here. Um, oh man, I can't, I really wanted Obafemi, man. I mean, unless it's come out like it's been said loads that the deal's dead, but. I guess you don't really know, do you? Uh, man, you one up. Who used to play futsal, bro? What? Kilman used to play futsal? That's well cool. That's cool. Uh, to be fair, though, I think a lot of people did, especially academy players, do just play futsal. Um, I think it just kind of happens. Oh, no. What is this? Sander Burge to Club Bruges could be off. Sheffield United will not let Sander Burge go for less than 30 million on the price of his release clause. The club Bruges has been pushing to sign Burge since January and continue discussions this very moment, but Prince Abdullah won't sell for peanuts. That could be huge if he does leave. We love you, Tino. We do love you, Tino. We do. Oh, yeah. From what I've seen, Fabinho's off. Fingered crossed. Not yeah, it's saying... It looks like it's off, but it's been said a few times that it's off, and then there's been Burnley have gone back. I mean, if company... For me, if company wants him, Pace will get him. Pace will get him. Pace will get him. And I just think it's how bad do Burnley want him? Is he valued that high? Is he really worth it? 10 million? I don't think he is. 
I do not think Obafemi's worth 10 million. But the eight, if we got him eight, I would have, I would have thought, yeah, decent for eight. Uh, no more than 10 million from him. Yep. Yeah, Jacob, 50-50. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't pay 10 million evens, a lot of money from for Femi. Pace has been class for us, need a chance for the blow. Yeah, honestly, I want a chance for Brownhill, man. Brownhill deserves it. Brownhill deserves a chance so much. Honestly, that bloke is a special, special man. Um, right, what we got for news? I'm just keeping what Andy, Andy Jones has just said. What about the German defender? Expect to go through before deadline. Andy Jones said the German defender. Uh, what's his What's his name again? I can't remember his name, but he's set to come in. I've been alone in my house for the past five hours. <laughs> Any else, rubs? Uh, say Biggie's fan if you are. What? Uh, on God, Brown has class. Love the badge as well. Yeah, he honestly loves it. He comes like after the games when he comes up with the fans. Like honestly, I I, fucking, I love him. Um. Oh no, Stephen Alzati set to sign on loan for this season at West Brom. Oh, coming soon, boys. Uh, Bayer, Jordan Bayer set to be announced in the coming moments. We've got to get Twitter up. We've got to get Twitter up quickly so that we can have it ready for when he is announced. Uh, and I'll screen. I'll put a screen share on. Um, let me just quickly do this. Um, There we go. It's going to be... We've got it. 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 Um, I just... I want to delete. Uh, what are we saying? Is it the bastard deal still possible to go to Everton? Probably looks like it could be off to Everton. Yes. Fuck West Brom. Um, if Branagh is rejecting Prem clubs, he must see something big. Yeah, man. Honestly, he loves it. Cole Palmer's still on. No, it's hoops. I'm pretty sure Cole Palmer's... I don't think he's going to leave City. I think he's going to be getting a bit of minutes, to be honest with you. So, it would have been a... It would have been a really good deal, though. Don't get me wrong. West Brom, 2-1 Burnley. I'm going 3-0. I'm really, really confident. I'm really confident. Honestly, I am, like, seriously most confident I've been going into, like, a tougher game this season. Uh, oh, announced. There we go. Right, we'll get. I'll get the video on so you can watch. He's a Union SG, not City. Uh, Cole Palmer. Do you not mean that Lewis lad? The Lewis lad is definitely still on, by the way. But Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer's the City guy, ain't he? Right. We'll get on Twitter real quick, and then I'll show you it. Uh, it's hard to score there, so won't... No, no, I don't know, man. Honestly, we, we, we've we been playing really well. And they're, they're, like, mid. Yeah, yeah, it's still on. Should be done that. I'd expect before deadline. Could be one of the last ones. Right, I'm going to... Here we go. Right, video's going on. One second. Wait, wait, wait. Give us a second. I'm just going to quickly mute the deadline day special. Um, and we will open up Twitter again. Right. Yeah, you go, boys. What you've been waiting for. The announcement video. I'll watch it with you. I appreciate the fact you can't look, but hopefully the overriding sound you're going to hear is a bang and the confetti coming down. I hope it was all worth it. <laughs> That's good. I like that. 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 Deal. Oh, he looks cool as hell. I mean, he wants to sort that trim out, like, but we like it. We'll have it. We'll have it. We'll have it. We'll have it. Um, <laughs> Oh, I'll try to find it. Oh, there we go, deadline day. Bosh. Another bang, I can't stop the moment. Like, yeah, that was good, honestly. That was really good. Gonna... Uh, production quality through the roof. Honestly, considering how little time they would have had for that. Honestly, fair play. Fair play. Fair play, man. Honestly, unbelievable stuff from the media team. I think they've been really, really good this window. Um, so yeah, fair play to them. Um, sorry, what have I missed there? Uh, would love to see them get fucking bad. <laughs> That's what I meant. Yeah, he's still on. Don't worry. Another bang. I can't talk the American. Yeah, man, Muir. No, I think Muir's gonna come back. There's been stuff saying Farrell could be the could be leaving, and that's what it could have been. I mean, Thomas is obviously gone. Um, but you know how much about the Bear lad? Uh, he looks really good. He's fast. He can play on the. He can play as a fullback. Um. 
that's about it. That's all I really know about. I mean, he looks decent. Um, we've got an option to buy if we do go up. So we'll just see. We'll see. We'll see how he does. We'll see how he does. Um. I mean, he's got the injury-prone tra trait on FIFA. Yeah, BPF isn't too big for me, I don't think. Like, he did well against Wigan, we'll be fair. He did do well against Wigan. But, oh, man, he's not He's not my guy. He's not my guy. He's not my guy. <laughs> he's not He's not the one for me, I'll be honest. But Bayer takes it to 16. 16 total signings for Burnley so far. Um, I can imagine that could potentially be it for us this window with obviously Obafemi being off. But obviously we will be keeping the coverage going until 11 o'clock. Any late links, anything like that, I will be covering. Don't worry. Um, the new signing from PSG may be over. Yeah, but I feel like he should have already been there if he was going to. Me on Wolves as Burnley. Me on Burnley versus Wolves. <laughs> Um, Burnley official. Good signing, man. It looks like a good signing. This this Bayer lad, he's really massively rated. So, we'll see how he does. I'm looking forward to seeing you. You might have to update your channel description. What is the channel description? Let me check. What actually is the channel description? That's, a, that's actually a shout scrubs. What is the channel description? I have 10 plus subscribers. Pretty cool, thank you. No, that's the, that makes it even better. I have 10 plus subscribers. Pretty cool, thank you. That's the that's point. It's funny. 10 plus subs, yeah, exactly, we do. I mean, we technically do. I mean, we're on 414 now, but we do technically have 10 plus. The road to 1,000 by the end of the year is very much on, so if you haven't already, make sure you do drop a subscription. Um, and, yeah, tune into more live streams. Got a live stream coming tomorrow for the West Brom game. Depressingly, I'm not there, so I'm going to be very upset. But, yeah, make sure you do tune in. Notifications on. Uh, we're up the other 400. <laughs> So, oh, so, more news just in. Swansea remain determined to keep a hold of Michael Obafemi and Joel Perot. Leeds have made an approach for Perot, but that's it for now. Could yet be a loan signing in for Swansea. Um, so, from Bayer, bye Jacob, hope you have a nice night, mate. Bayer has just said, as soon as I heard of the interest in the deal, I drove straight to the airport. I just wanted to be in Burnley straight away. I already love him. No, so I've got 6,000 tickets in that, Dylan. It's just like, obviously, from with me being from Newcastle, I was in Greece for a week. Then I came down to Wigan. Then I went back to Burnley, stayed with uh, family. Then went to Millwall. Then came back to Burnley to then go back to West Brom. It would have been far too much, man. I mean, I'm hoping I can get a Norwich, but I don't know. I don't know. How long am I streaming tonight? We're streaming till 11 o'clock, man, I think. Um... Yeah, probably. Maybe maybe 10. I don't know. It depends. Until Burnley's news is shut down, basically. I'm going to also be tuned. All right. Um, yeah, it's in, till, until Burnley... Until I see something about Burnley's windows done or the journalist being told to step down, then I'm just going to keep reporting, really. I mean, Bowden's not really there, so... Bayer speaks unreal English. I've been to Watford so far. I'm going to try and get covering tickets as well. Yeah. Oh, it's hard with me, obviously, being where I am. I can't just get on and go, which is shit. But it is what it is, isn't it, really? We're just, I'm just trying my best to get on as many as I can. Um, right. Burnley official. If you haven't already, make sure you go uh, and follow me on Twitter as well. I put pretty much every news out on there. As soon as it comes through. So it comes out before it goes out on my YouTube. Uh, and any notifications. In case your notifications don't work. I put a little notification out on there for you guys. On my Twitter. Um, so yeah. 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 Yo. Oh. Douglas Luiz set to stay at Aston Villa. Arsenal made two offers. But the stance was always that he was not for sale. Interesting. Interesting. Just commented. All right, mate. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. You know about Marcel Lewis? Not really, man. He's 20 years old. I mean, he he came through the Chelsea Academy, so he's obviously got something about him. Um, So, yeah, he's going to be decent. I support Burnley because that's where my dad's from, but I live in Hertfordshire, which is proper down south, right in the pain in the ass. Yeah, man, honestly. Uh, Hello, Mr. K. How you doing, man? I live, obviously, with me being in... Uh, Newcastle, it is a canny trick for me. 
Uh, but I mean, I enjoy it, man. Honestly, I enjoy it. Mr. K, how you doing, man? Boys, what are we saying? Any more incomings? What are we saying? Predictions. I think we're gonna have. Uh, Marcel Lewis is going to come in and maybe one random guy. It looks like Obafemi deal is going to be off, but I think we have one more in with to get it to three. Hello, Newcastle. Yeah, it's a trek, man, from Newcastle, honestly. Jesus Christ, it's a trek. I'm at Sunderland away, obviously, though. I'll be at Sunderland away. I'll be at Sunderland away. Um, oh, yeah, it is 1-0 Man United Sky. Obviously, but I only watch it because you love the Clarets. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, hopefully moving it to some... Uh, FIFA soon though, hopefully, I'm hoping. Uh, what kind of FIFA content would you guys like to see? Let me know. Lewis Deferin and that's it, but we can always hope. Yeah, hearing about Dovbix. Yeah, Dovbix has said that his uh, agent met up with Burnley, but and he wants the move, but I can't see it happening, man. Um, two more signing for backup. Hopefully, Lewis will come. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, yeah, that's. I, I think that's probably right, Dylan. But yeah, so FIFA content going into next FIFA. Uh, if we obviously we get it done and stuff, what are you thinking for FIFA content? I'm trying to set a new PC and all that stuff so I can kind of record it, maybe get some streams in. What are we saying? What would you like to see? Burnley real big re Burnley rebuild career, uh, Vitinho career mode. Um, okay, okay. What we anyone else like any ultimate team ideas? Any of that stuff? Like maybe just some random stuff like a full goalkeeper team, all that stuff. A player career. All right. Okay. 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 I can do that, I can do that, we can do that. Uh, tell us team. Ooh, spicy, spicy. Thing is, right, obviously, when you're doing, like, uh, Road to Glory, which obviously I would do with, like, Teller, it takes so much time. And obviously, I've got my exams this year. And I, I really, if I'm going to do stuff like that, I need views, man. Because if I'm spending it, t I'm telling you, it's probably, like, nine hours of filming to then take maybe another four or five hours of editing per video and I thought I'll probably maybe get out two videos a week. That is a lot of time man. A lot of time. Yes, the real the they're only one Burnley. They are could do RG base around one player, could be a Burnley player. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. But like so yeah, if I was to do a uh, Rotor Glory, I would have to pray that I get views because it's so much time. For it to then, like, if I posted it and it just flopped and got like a hundred like if it got like five hundred views, I'd be like, no. Like do you know what I mean? Um but yeah, I do enjoy that stuff, and it just takes a lot of time, but I think I'm going to try and maybe get something going, um, Teller, Vitinho, Root of Glory, something like that, I might do Teller's team, though. that's actually a shout, um, and then, yeah, maybe play a career mode, throw that in there, uh, yeah, but it's good shouts, good shouts, I'll keep it all in mind, I'll keep it all in mind, um, <sighs> I'm just seeing if there's any, fine reviews is good, no, but like, I mean, for like the channel, like, a good video is like two thousand views, and like that's like a uh, that's like pretty good. Like that's what like all my like vlogs are getting like two k views. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's one nil to United, by the way. But yeah, all my um, all like my vlogs and stuff get two k, and that's like a solid video. And obviously, that's like a full day, full day invested into it. Um, whereas like if I was to invest like nine hours into a video, that's like nine hours of just pure video. I would want around the same. Do you know what I mean? But I mean, I'll probably go for it. I'll probably go for it. Oh, for the uh, the first battle and all the videos. Um. Oh, I thought it was Burnley. Um, I think it's gonna go quiet for us now, boys. I think it's gonna go. Oh, do you see me set the sign, Ross Barkley? Sheesh. You're winning by a long shot because my shitty notifications. <laughs> Unlucky man. Don't think there's any position. Let's go, baby. Uh, you can always give it a go, see what views are like. But to I'll watch whatever from you. To be fair, that's good to know, man. Yeah, I think I'm gonna definitely try and get some stuff out. Um, and then we'll see. Like. It's just the only problem I have with it. Obviously, it's a lot of time committed. And with going on games, I will get maybe two videos a week. And I think it's hard to get stuff going. But yeah, I think I think I will. I'll give it a shot. Uh, Sasa. What is that? That guy that signed for um, from like some like non-league team. He's like, like literally the, the green giant from the Sweet Corn advert. Yeah, it's a decent signing. Huddersfield signed centre-back from Man City. Decent. 
Dujon Sterling to Stoke could be a good move, man. Sunderland, you know who's done amazing business? Sunderland. Oh, fucking hell, sorry. Sunderland have done unreal business so far, honestly. Do the bitches love Sasa? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, he's time from Stuttgart. All oh, right, I don't know. I saw you. Wait. Oh man, they're, all, they're only one Burnley. You should have came and said hello, man. I, I didn't. I didn't clock on if I saw you, but you should have said hello, man. Honestly, if anyone ever sees us, feel free to come and say hello. Someone did it at the um, the game for Millwall, actually. Yeah, uh, came and said like the newers and all that stuff. Uh, to be fair, Shrubs you're always first in the live streams. Yeah, I can't miss them. <laughs> it's his favorite thing, Shrubs live streams. Um, but yeah, honestly, they're only one Burnley. Should have said hello, man. You could got in the vlog or whatever you wanted. And just had a conversation. Uh, I know. <laughs> um, <sighs> League One. You know what I was thinking? How much money Burnley have spent compared to like typical? Like we're pushing thirty million. We're pushing thirty million. That's crazy numbers. Crazy. Like 16 signings is ridiculous. Mental. Yo, Jacob, when you become famous, <laughs> Hey, we can only pray, Mr. K. We can only pray. I could have got an autograph from the one and only. No. <laughs> 16 players. Yeah, it's ridiculous, man, honestly. So there's a round of the players we've signed this window. So we've got Twine, McAnally, CJ, Taylor Harwood Bellis, Samuel Bastian, Cullen, Ian Matson, Murick, Vitinho, Benson, Teller, Chilinov, Frankie, Anas, Halil, and Breyer. That is 10 out of 10 in my books, honestly. Um, Mr. K, honestly, you'll always remember, man, honestly. Yeah, I saw some stuff from like 2018, 21. We had 14 summer signs, and this year alone it's been 15. Yeah, it's something like that. I think we signed 15. From 18 to 21 at the same time. And then we've signed 15 just this window. Did see you, but I didn't know if it was someone else. Well, Shrubs, where did you see us, man? Where did you see us? You should have said hello, honestly. Uh, yeah, but 16 players out of this world. Only problem is if we don't get promoted. No, we're, we're fine financially now, honestly. I think we've got... I kind of don't want to go up this season. Like, we've made so much money. Like, like we're sound. Yeah, like, we've loaned five in. Um, I think we can probably get Bellis and Teller on permanence, especially if we go up. For me, I'm not asked about going up this season. I want to go probably next season because I think a lot of the young players we've got need to develop and all that stuff. What in the stadium? Good thing we are getting promoted then. <laughs> um, when was this, Rubs? What stadium, man? At the turf or what? You should have said hello, honestly. Automatic promotion or playoffs, possibly. Um, yeah, I think we could go up. I think we're probably going to go up next season preferably, but he's gonna, I'm saying third, I'm saying third, yeah man, honestly, you should have said hello man, honestly, uh, yeah, I'm saying third for us this season, I think that's decent man, honestly, I think that's decent, for how much change going at the club, 16 players, with the potential, I feel like we may potentially get a 17th in, that is good business, I do not care, it's good business, um, I don't burn the reverse walls again. Uh, Bayer signed. Yeah, David, he has, man. Four from, no, I think Blackburn are going to finish probably 12th, to be honest with you, man. Um, yeah, they don't have enough. Um, they don't have enough. Like, they don't have enough depth to push on like we can. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, Jordan Bayer has signed. He looks like a very, very tidy player. He's supposed to be very good in the air, very good with his feet. So we'll see. Uh, remember at the start of the window before company or Burnley fans on Twitter were scared we wouldn't even get top set. Yeah, honestly, bro, people just fear among. Honestly, it's so annoying. I've said from the start of the window we'd get 15 done, and we've already outdone that. Second, if Diaz stays, fit. nah, no way. Um, Diaz is good, but they don't have the depth, man. They do not have the depth. We've got a decent manager though, so maybe 10th ish, maybe push the playoffs just about. But Oos is not in Blackburn's sights, man. Honestly, it isn't. Let's be real. If they lose Diaz, they'll be in trouble. Yeah, which game are you going to next? Um, Norwich or Bristol at home are the next ones, I think. Oh, sorry. Norwich or Bristol at home are the next ones. And then I feel like after Bristol's a break. And then we're on to... 
Is it Sheffield United? I think. I'm definitely Sheffield United away. I know that. Um, I'm p- trying to go to Cardiff away. Depends though. Um, Bristol, I'm definitely at. And then Norwich is 50-50 at the moment. Just because it's on a Friday night, it's hard to get down to. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, honestly, we're in all the Blackburn fans' heads rent-free. I'm going to go to the Norwich one. Do you live up then, uh, Shrubs? You should, though. Um, Jay's beyond good enough, so it's calm. Only thing you can complain is we didn't bring in a striker. Um, Uh, if Wolves been burning the cups, I go. Yeah, man, you should scrubs. Honestly, it'd be sick. I think, it, I think we're getting a little mini cup run going on, boys. Want to be Crawley onto the is it quarters? Half the prem teams will be out. We could draw a cheeky little League One team. Oh, you live just outside Wolves. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. I've got a mate that lives in Wolverhampton as well, man. Um, yeah, he's a bit of a, he's a bit of a weirdo, but he does live there. <laughs> um. Just, I don't know if there's going to be too much. At least I'm an OG. Yeah, man. Mr. K, you'll be fine, man. Don't honestly trust us. Um, the Crawley owner has he? Does he actually? What a boss. Hey, Link that. Honestly, Link is that. Bayot on joining Burnley. As soon as I heard the interest in the deal, I drove straight to the airport. I just wanted to get here straight away. I am just so happy it has all worked out and it's all done. I can't wait, honestly. Fair enough, man. That sounds good. I've seen his YouTube vids. Fair enough, Dylan. Ah, oh, he's gonna get rinsed then. We'll have to uh we'll have to get him in a video. <laughs> um Honestly, I wanna know if we're gonna get any more in, man. I kinda had a feeling we might, but I don't know man. Any transfer that seems to have gone quite a monster source. Yeah, we've got um, that lad from Union Belgium looks to be coming in, um, and then the rest, I'm pretty sure. Apparently, what's that? Um, sorry. Apparently, Dobby set the sign before deadline. Where have you seen that, it oops. What's my real name, guys? Uh, Kieran, or Kyle. Go, ah, sugar. Uh, bye lad. In a bit, Dylan. Have a good day, man. Um, where have you seen that? Burnley have ruled out selling star man Joshua Brown on deadline day. Ninety minutes understands. A number of Premier League clubs have been tracking the former Bristol City midfielder, who has started in spectacular form. Burnley have turned it all down. He's not going, boys. Let's go. That is basically like a brand new signing, man. Honestly. Um, yeah, oh, that is unreal. Yes, get in. Yep, lovely. Carol. There, sweet. Um, but yeah, it's hoops. Where have you seen that? Carol. 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 I'm not going with us defenders. Mr. Carroll. Alright, okay, okay. We'll go with that. Um, Yeah, I want... <laughs> this Dovbik stuff, I've not heard any of this. So... <sighs> I'm glad we got Bayer in as well, because I think he adds a bit of height, which we've obviously been struggling with. Um... He does add a bit of... Oh, shit. I probably should put this out on Twitter. I forgot to do that. that. That would be a good idea, boys. It would be a good idea to put this stream out on Twitter. We'll get some more more people in. Um, yeah, that's, that's a good shot. Uh, but I prefer Mr. K. All right, we'll just call you Mr. K then. We'll call you Mr. K. Don't worry about it. Uh, Mr. K. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm kind of upset about this other Femi, man. I thought we might get him in. I'm just putting this out on Twitter, by the way, boys, sir. Um, down. I'm off, lad. Got work at five. Nice to catch a stream, though. Yeah, man, honestly. Uh, 
see you Bog. have a nice day man honestly uh thanks for tuning in and uh yeah i'll catch you in, i'll catch you in the next one i'm assuming you'll probably be on west brom but we've got a stream tomorrow if you are free uh come check it out man but yeah in a bit <sighs> what are we saying for west brom then predictions in the chat what are we saying i'm going three nil um Apparently, Dovbik's going trab trab on spot. I can't lie. Um, so fourth, you're going four nil, four nil against West Brom. Jesus, Jesus, that is that is big. That is big. Four nil, four nil Burnley tomorrow. Complete obliteration. Jeez, you have West Brom. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm going three nil. Off. 3-0, 2-1, I'm, I'm stuck. I either think you want to rub it in. Yeah, 3-2. I generally think we could batter them. Um, but it depends, man. Because like, they can somewhat defend. And if we show up a bit lacklustre like we have in the past, then I do think they could do it. But if not, then we'll be sweet. Like I think we can also outdo them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, in an interview for Dovbik, um, confirms that he asked his manager to let him go. Berlin, Nottingham are on him. Four Italian clubs, German and the Turkish yards. Final hours could be close. So, the, he, he, he did ask the club to let him talk to the clubs, like like Burnley and stuff like that. And I think they wanted more money than we were going to pay. I, I mean, I thought he would have been a good signing, but... Obviously not. <laughs> Burnley obviously don't think the same as me. Uh, yeah, we could battle. I don't think we could get battered, but we could definitely get shifted. Um, so it just depends, man. Honestly, it really does depend. Because they are a decent side when they want to be a decent side. So we'll see. We'll see, though. We'll see. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If we're just going batterings, then it's it's on, I think. I gotta go right in a bit, Mister K. I think we're gonna head off soon anyway, depending on if there's any more news coming through. I'm gonna give it another half an hour, and then if there's no more, then. Uh, imagine living off right backs or ribs or right backs <laughs> um, instead of sleeping. <laughs> um, all right, in a bit, Mister K. Um, but yeah, I think. Knight could be coming in as well. It looks like there's been links f again, as per usual. It happens every window. Four to six million Derby could accept for him. Score predictions, Harvey. I'm going with 3-0 for West Brom. 3-0 for West Brom. If you are new, make sure you do leave. Uh, just say hello in the chat, man. But yeah, Harvey, I'm going 3-0. Um, but yeah, with um, Knight, I think it could be a good deal. If we can get him for anywhere between four and six million, that is good business for me. Um, whether or not it happens is a different story, but I do think Burnley have another signing in them. It's going to be close. I think with Pace and company, the way they do it, they're going to push it to the final day. They're going to push it to the final hour. They're going to push it to the final minute, the final second, to try and get someone else through the door. So we'll see. I mean, he said it before, company. They will push it till the very dying moment. No, yeah, I'm going 3 0 Burnley. I'm going 3 0 Burnley, Harvey. Sorry, man. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll 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 go with 3 0 Burnley. I think, I think we could batter them. I genuinely think we could batter them. But yeah, what what are your score predictions, Harvey, man? Obviously, the Obi Femi Obi Obi Femi deal is off for Burnley. It's not gonna come to fruition. Um, but. Nine million was probably too nine ten million is too much for him, man. He's not worth it. He's not worth it, is he? Um, I would have preferred a permanent striker to replace him, but I mean, Halil is rated by literally everyone he's played for, like literally everybody. And he was number sixty-seven at Galatasaray. That is so cool. If we could have a player with number sixty-seven, I'll definitely buy the shirt. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Um, and guys, as well, leave your thoughts on the away kit. What are we saying? I reckon it's a 10 out of 10 kit. I think we're going to go 3 for 3 for kits. Obviously, FIFA leaked the kit. I think it is banging. Very, very fit. 2-1 Burnley. You think we will bring it back from 1-0 down? See, 
I said that about Millwall. I thought we'd go one 0 down, and then we just didn't. We just didn't. And we uh, we did really well. Um, and I think if we dominate, don't give them too much of the ball, aren't too direct. I think we could do them. Like we've changed up a bit. Like Millwall, we used possession to beat them. Uh, Wigan, we used more direct football to beat them. Um, so yeah, I think we could just leather West Brom. But they can't be overlooked as an easy game because they are a tidy side. But um, yeah, I'm going with three 0 because I think we could we could outdo them. We could score a couple of goals. Hopefully, see some of the new boys in there as well. They're new cheeky lads. Get some minutes like Anas, the sexy little man. The sexy little man. He's unreal, Anas. I love him. Um, right, Burnley news. What are we saying? Southampton have just cheated. Saying any more news? Um, Burnley's announcement for Fingy was so good. Um, news is not really much, man. But I feel like there's something more coming. Honestly, I feel like we've got more coming. Obviously, Bobby Thomas has gone along to Bristol City as well. By the way, guys, if you didn't know, um, yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he's been announced. Harvey he's signed uh, on a one-year deal loan. Um, with an option to buy if we get promotion. Um, yeah, he, he's he's been announced. He's signed, yeah. Just scrolling through Twitter at the moment, man, just to see if there's anything coming up. Um, Uh, I'll be surprised if anything else comes through. Yeah, TikTok. I just, I don't know why. I just have a weird feeling that we do have something. Yeah, the union lad will be done, but I think he's an under 21s signing. Um, but yeah, I have a weird feeling that it could happen. I don't know why. A very weird feeling that we could get one more. Ainsley Maitland Niles has just signed for Southampton. What a deal! Wow. No, we no, we don't have the. I think Sunderland is a Brexit name. Uh, would be a challenge Taylor for the starting spot. Yeah, definitely. I think you should start. Um. Diaz is leaving. Uh, Diaz is staying at Bastards, by the way. I just thought I'd let you guys know he's not leaving. Um, but yeah, Shrub's Brexit ball. That, allow it, man. Come in and Pace have came in and revolutionised Burnley. We're not Brexit ball anymore. <sighs> Mate and Niles could be such a good signing, man. Mate and Niles could be such a good signing. Such a good signing. Hopefully. I think Bayer could be a really good signing. Um... Problem is with Diaz, he's still going to buy goals for fun this season, man. Um, yeah, there was more than two hours between the link and the announcement. Uh, the thing is with like links and stuff, it's deadline day. A link could come up, then ten minutes later the deal could be done. Do you know what I mean? Like everything moves so much quicker. It's crazy. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm whole, I, I've got a bit of faith. I've got a bit of faith. A bit of faith. Just trying to scroll through, see if there's anything going on that can maybe link us to another signing coming through. Um, but at the moment, it doesn't look too like you're playing better football than balls. Yes, man. Love that, Harvey. We are. Glad he ain't leaving this window. Yeah. Uh, really? You're glad Diaz isn't leaving? Yeah, true, true. You'll, he, he, pre-contracts will probably happen in January. And then he'll go for free. But they wouldn't have invested anyway, man. It's the Vankies. <laughs> I'll laugh at them. Yeah, man, honestly. Uh, who is my favourite? Vitinho. Come on. I love Vitinho. Um, who else is up there for me? Brown Hill's pretty far. Teller. I just love Teller's smile. We love Luke. Luke. Love Luke Cundall to go to Burnley. What position does he play, Shrubs? Um, <laughs> P 
Bamiang to Chelsea done. Yeah, I love Vitinho the Brazilian. I want to get a signed Vitinho shirt, to be honest. Really, really want to get a Vitinho signed shirt. Yeah. Vitinho, the, you know that vest that we've got, like the um, Brazil vest that we wear every game? I want to get that signed. So the tip on is, thing is, we've got like Cullen and Cork, like, I don't think anyone's going to dislodge Cullen and Cork, to be honest with you. Um, you may get Bastion might go in and out of there, but Cullen and Cork, for me, have to start pretty much every game. They're just... Cork and Cullen are so good together. They just fit each other perfectly. It's unbelievable. Sign Brazilian shirt. Yeah, I want like the vest to be signed by Vitinho. That is my goal this season. I'm just going to end up having, having to head down before a game and get him a sign, honestly. The little boss. What happened to Murich? I, I don't know, you know. To be right, so I've seen stuff like Farrell. It was just to say goodbye to Vitania. Wouldn't have guessed where this is. Yeah, people always ask about that, about that Brazil top. Uh, but yeah, I don't think too much happened with Murich. I think he's just. Only reason he's gone is because of. Uh, to let Farrell say goodbye and stuff. Uh, I don't know, couldn't let a glass game at Spurs. Did he start? Why has he gone on loan if he's playing? That's strange. That's really, really strange. What do you mean, what happened with Murek? Like, he went, he got injured at um, Millwall, then he went off injured and Farrell came on. Um, so, yeah. He got injured at Millwall and Farrell came on and played alright, played alright, played alright. But I'm not too convinced by him, obviously. Because of Nunez. Ah, fair enough, man. Fair enough. That Nunez is good. Your Wolves midfield's ridiculous. Yeah, he had an injury. It was like... I think we went on an attack or we had a free kick or whatever. We maybe even scored. And then, like, after we kicked the ball back off, he was injured. And it was like, ooh, what happened to Aaron? But, yeah, I think he will be fine, to be honest. Yo, Junior, welcome, man. Hope you're having a good day. What you saying for transfers, rate, ratings on the window? What we saying, boys? Actually, I'm going to beat that. I'm going to put a little poll. I'm enjoying my polls. Um, Um, have really good, yeah. I love Murat, man. I've always really he's so pivotal to the way we play, man. Honestly, so good. Uh, Windows eleven out of ten. Yep, yeah, surely I was there. Just he just sat down. Company said long term, we'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. Daniel Dixon, think the full squad is solid. Happy with everyone. Just think keep our takes. Too many. Uh, no, nah, honestly, like you've got to think about it, right? With Murick, he's doing what he's being told. Like, it's not him. Like, obviously, it's his play style, but he's been brought in because he's like that. Do you, do you know what I mean? Um, so, I don't really think it's his fault as such. Um, yeah, I don't really think it's his, like, fault as such. Jordan's interview is out. <laughs> All right, here. Should we watch that, then? Um, yeah, he's got really good English. Right, we'll, we'll watch it on here. We'll watch it on here. Um, yeah. I think someone's knocking on my door, though, so I'm going to have to quickly go check that whilst I put it on for you guys. Um, 10 out of 10. Everyone's saying 10 out of 10. Someone's not saying 10 out of 10. What are we saying? 8 out of 10. 17 out of 10. <laughs> um, fair, fair, fair. Uh, do you think we'll sign many more players? Yeah, I, I have a feeling we might get one more. I don't know why. I just have a sneaky suspicion. Sneaky suspicion. We could potentially get one more in. I don't know why. Uh, the interview. Where is it? I can't find it. I missed the days of the headset. Oh, they were the they were bad days, weren't the Shrubs? There, that audio was peak, man. That was so bad. I've just realised that was bad. Who said four out of ten? You might have to get yourself gone, pal. Four out of ten. What else would you have wanted in this window? I 
I just have a feeling we've got one more signing in with. One more signing in with. I don't know why. By the way, boys, if you haven't already, make sure you do drop a subscribe. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, it means a lot. Obviously, we're on the road to 1,000 subs. All that good stuff. Um, why have I got this back up here? Why has it been... Uh, I missed it as the headset. Yours truly, Luke Cundle. <laughs> yeah, the headset was peak, honestly. Yeah, I can't find this um thing. One second. I'm going to go check this someone outside. I'll be one second. I think I did it. Pressed it wrong. Well, 10 out of 10 for me. All right, fair enough then. What, if you could have had what, anything else done, what would you have done? To the turf. <laughs> oh, yeah, imagine for Simon Ronaldo. Absolute limbs. Uh, what would you, what, if you could have anything else to this window, what would it be? Well, just want to go check the door. Your season number. Weird. I heard like a ton of banging, like someone was hitting my window. Four out of ten, good score. Bring a condom. Like, it sounded like someone was just like smashing my window through. That was well weird. Right. Uh, what about that centre mid that came through? The yeah, he's going to the under twenty ones, man. It is a done deal, but he's going to the under twenty ones, I think. If we kept, yeah, to be fair, Rouge, if we kept Corne, it would have been unreal. But where does Corne go in in this system? Like, I don't think, like, obviously, don't get us wrong, Corne is ridiculous. He would have thrived, but imagine if he gets clattered. You, you know how injury prone he is. Lacking wing us, yeah, Harvey. Sign someone else up. Get a loanie. <laughs> get another loan. We don't have enough loans. I don't think we've utilised the loan market enough. Um,. Uh, left wing, yeah, fair. Like, Corny would have been good. The second player we needed, we signed the date. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We need a striker and we need a centre half. I'm just a bit upset that they're both on loan because both of our best centre halves are now loans. Um, striker, two of our strikers. I mean, Hello's probably not going to start, but Teller, loan. Uh, Matson, obviously a loan, but that's Vitinho, that's fine. Matson, not asked, but Halil, Teller. Harwood Bellis, Mayer, all on loans. Mayer, and uh, uh, Bayer, sorry. Bayer and Bellis are going to be big misses if we lose them and can't get them back. Same with Teller. Uh, yeah, true, yeah. The option to buy, obviously, is there, but it's still, like, a... I don't know, it's, 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 it's risky, isn't it? They're banging on the door again. I s Bro, I swear down, someone is banging on the door. I swear down, someone is banging on the door. I swear down. Uh, the centre back is not here. Oh no, the goat McQuarrie's <laughs> not a fan of loans. Yeah, I'm not Daniel. Can anyone else play? Yeah, Bay, I probably can. We won't have no players at the end of the season coming. We'll have to bring the boots back out. Uh, Jordan can. Yeah, Bay, he's just not left footed. Yeah. It's Luke Cundall. Yeah, we could. Like, we don't have too many loans, but Teller. Bellis and Bea could be big misses. I think we can get Bellis and Teller both back. And obviously Bea. So if we go up, we'll be fine. If we come down, we may have to be looking around. Maybe getting Bellis again. Um, right, anyways, we've got... Is that ex-Chelsea youngster coming? Believe so, yes. Um... Uh, right, I've I've asked the question of first team or academy. We'll see if uh, he gets back to us. Um, 
Yeah, we'll see if we get a message back from Andy Jones. Um, oh my god, I haven't ate anything. Sort it out, man. Right, we've got the interview here. Do you want to watch it and get my reaction to it? I mean, Vettinho could play anywhere, man. Honestly, I back him to the moon and back. I swear to God. He's so good, man. Um... I rate him so highly, man. He's so good. I just, I love him. I love Vettinho. Right, okay. Yeah, Obafemi's done. Yeah, right. We'll get, we'll get the live reaction up. I'll just, um, one second. I'll just put all the stuff on and then uh, we'll get on it. Uh, yeah, I think we'll definitely get him if we go up. I think we'll definitely get him if we go up. Yeah, Harvey. Honestly, I do. I do. I back where I back where. Uh, right, okay. I need to go to... Do I put... No, I'll just shut the face. Come on. It's only going to be five minutes. It doesn't matter. I'm not setting up a full thing. Right. Add source. Bosh. Add another source. Uh, where's my view? Uh, there we go. Can't see what you can watch again. Sweet, man. Welcome back, Jacob. We're just about to react to the mayor and the Bayer announcement. There we go. Right, okay. Uh, let me just... Oh, wait, one second. Let me just mute Sky. I'll be one second. Um, let me just put it back on here. Just whilst I mute Sky, because we don't really want Sky to keep talking, the fucking little mongs. Um, why is the chat box not there? Honestly, I hate Streamlabs sometimes, man. Honest to God. There we go, it's back. Shrubs back. Uh, welcome back. Yeah, man. Uh, hello, Shrubs. Uh, right, we'll get it up now. Tell I'm just gonna mute this because honestly, the sky thing, right? They just talk rubbish most of the time anyway, so we're not really missing anything. Let's be real, boys. Uh, we're not really missing anything. Uh, there we go. Right, okay. We've got the Bayer live reaction now. Let's go. Oh wait. Jordan, uh, welcome to Burnley. Thank you. Transfer deadline day. How busy has today been for you? Uh, it's been a pretty, uh, pretty busy day for me today, to be honest, but because I just got to know about the possible transfer yesterday after training, and then I so it came up yesterday. Okay. To the airport and flew to Manchester this morning. The chat will be back on after this reaction. I've just landed there. From there to the medical center to get checked and get the medical Jeez, stuff done. Man's warm. And then. Right off to the training ground here, and hey, now I'm really good English, here, you know? and I'm so really happy good that it all worked out like I hoped, and I can't wait to be part of this. <laughs> oh, and so it, it's really it's <laughs> great to have you with us. How are you feeling now? The deal is done, and, and now you're here. Really relieved. Should have come with I was. Man. It was like I was a bit afraid that maybe something wasn't working out. Maybe. There's something which is not going to work, but I'm just happy and relieved that so it's all done now. Obviously, a few complications in the deal. Everything then. is signed and we can get started. So I'm just happy. And so you, you came through the academy system at Borussia Mönchengladbach. Yes. It's a place you know well. You've been there since you were 15. Did you feel that now 15. is the right time to, to move and gain experience elsewhere? Um, yeah, well, I've played there. I just want to say, he's played like 22 Bundesliga games last season for Munch and Black Gladbach. For me, this is a very strange move to go on loan away. But I mean, it's the Vincent Company, Paul. Uh, like, I was a supporter of the club when I was a little child. So I lived just roughly about 20 kilometers from the stadium there. So I have, of course, a connection to the club. And it's like also a dream come true to have played there, to be able to play there for the first team. And but I'm for me, it's a great step now here to also go abroad and just uh, play football in England. It's also always been a dream for me to play here sometimes, and now this dream also became true. And yeah, I'm happy, and everything's cool, nice. Boy. I've seen so far, the people are very nice, the club, the facilities, the fields, and yeah, it's just it's great. And so how much are you looking forward to getting started um, with Burnley in the in the championship? Is it a league that you know quite a bit about? Uh, to be completely honest, I don't know so much about it, but I, 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 well, I obviously know 
something about it, but I'm not so familiar to it because it's hard to watch in Germany. There are a lot of clubs which played Premier League the last years and we also know from Germany, of course, which have played in the Premier League and also played a good amount of seasons there. So I think it's a really good league and it's a great adventure for me. And yeah, how we've been done it. No, Chris, it. not yet. Paul. And so the, the manager of Vincent Company has brought a lot of new faces to the club. Yeah, probably Harvey, that's probably spot on. But yeah, no, now, uh, it's when we get to all the stand down, that's when I'll be ending the stream, man. But up until then, I will be putting stuff out. Only other active targets right now are that Chelsea Academy lad, uh, Lewis. And yeah, that, that's it at the moment. Club this window. Did he have a big impact on your decisions come here? Uh, yeah, of course. He was a big part of the decision I... Uh he called me yesterday and I spoke with him and I was really from the first moment I felt like it was the right thing to do and yeah he convinced me also that it was a good move and he's obviously one of was one of the best center backs in the world and yeah it's great to learn from somebody like that who plays the same position as I do and he can give me so many tips and I think he could really help me develop. I think Halil somewhat was like a cover option for Abafemi. I mean, what? How long is there left of the window now? We're looking at the last hour, hour and a half. I, I, I'll be surprised if we do get someone else in. However, I have a weird feeling. I have a weird feeling we might. Develop myself and just continue to work on my game. And yeah, that's was a big part of it. And I've heard from so many people that he's a great coach, also a great person. And it's also easier that he speaks a bit of German, so it feels a bit... <laughs> I'm telling you, because company, company's pull is massive. Company's pull is massive. Like, come on. Company's pull is crazy. He speaks languages. He's the best said about the world. You just heard what he said. He pull is a mental. Uh... Not a necessity. Yeah, Giroud's going to start. Giroud will score 25. It's fine, man. Um, Halil is cover. I remember the Gabriel Silva being last window. How many lang? I swear I've seen like you can speak like eight languages. More like home, just to say. And yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's big help. So coming into the team, you're a defender, but you can play right back yeah. um, and a centre back. Do you have a preferred position? In yeah, I play centre back. I like more playing centre back, but honestly, I don't really care. I play there where the coach needs me, and then I'll give my best there. And so, the Burnley fans, what can they expect from you as as a player? Uh, they can expect 100% uh, on the field Good in lad. every moment I'm on the field, uh, throwing myself into every tackle, into every it, duel, uh, into English. every ball to try to defend that goal, and never giving up. And also, yeah, I think I with bonds. the ball, I'm not too bad. I can play a bit of soccer. No, soccer is American football, I can say. Yeah, okay, football. I can play. Good lad. You, he, hey, I was about to say, I don't want to see him play for Burnley. He corrected himself and said football, not soccer. Good lad. Good football. lad. And I think I have also my strengths with the ball because my passing is solid, I think. And yeah, that's what they can hope to see. All right, good. Okay. All right, sweet. Good stuff then, good stuff then. Hey, I'm quite happy signing out. I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed, honestly. I think he's going to be decent for one. Oh, Adrisa Garnagay has signed for Everton. I don't know if that was already known or not. But, uh, nice and humble. He is, man, honestly. I like him. I like the look of him. I like the look of him. By the way, guys, what do you think about the setup for the stream? Everyone liking it, everyone liking it. Hopefully. Um, hopefully it's, it's, it's decent, it's decent. Honestly, I, I feel we're going to get someone else in, man. I don't know why, there's literally no links, but I have a feeling, I had a feeling. Wolves have agreed a season-long loan with Mets for Bubakar Traore. <sighs> Uh, the company photo makes me happy. Yeah, 
needs Luke Gundal. The company form makes me happy. Can you ever imagine if Barnes scores if ever he would cry? Uh, I read yesterday clips of sniffing around Brown. I hope he doesn't. No, he's he's not going, Daniel. I can confirm that he's not leaving. Don't you worry, pal. Um. <laughs> I mean, if we say, oh, if we still had dice, that'd be ropes, man. It'd be ropes if we still had dice, I promise you. It'd be so ropes. Like, we wouldn't be able to have this rebuild. We'd be signing, like, Joe Allen and them, man. Honestly. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, we knew Browner wasn't going the link came from. Yeah, exactly. And you can see Brownell absolutely loves it absolutely loves it he loves the club honestly he loves it I was watching from the start did I sort of because it's Burnley TikTok Burnley fans love just f blaming Pace for anything honestly P Pace could burn their child and they go I didn't give you permission to touch my child like they're just mongs absolute mongs What for those went in from a Femi? Did they? I didn't know that. What apparent either feeling so uh Joe Parole was a there was a fifty million bid or a loan bid or whatever going in for him from Leeds, which I think that probably affected their negotiation with Ob Femi. I mean if you if you lose parole they don't want to lose Obafemi and vice versa. Um so that was probably their stance was if we're gonna lose parole, yeah, we don't lose Obafemi. I mean it's fair enough. I mean we value him at a certain price, Dave. I'm at a certain price, just don't break that. Yeah, no, honestly. I mean, in 2018, 2011, we signed 15 players. In this window, we signed 15 alone. It's crazy. Yeah, I kind of just confirmed it. Yeah. Yeah. But it is what it is, man. I wouldn't have paid over nine, to be fair. Uh, Adama to be. <laughs> Imagine. I would say this is arguably one of the best winners done in uh, our club history, you know. Five million with add-ons, yeah. It's, it's, we had four million with add-ons up to eight, which was turned down. Then we went back with five, add-ons up to nine, turned down again. We weren't going to go higher. For me, I probably would have gone in with seven with add-ons up to nine and just left it at that. They didn't want it, they didn't want it, do you know what I mean? Uh, Dyke, yeah, Dyke had no pull. Kind of wish we went in for that Patterson. Patterson, Patterson. What, from, um, that went to Everton? Yeah, it would have been decent. 100% best window. Yeah, I mean, that window when we got Europe is probably up there when we got, like, the four and stuff. That, that was a quality window, but the way we've revolutionised the club, the club's been changed massively this window, which I think you can't really rival that. Like, that is the best bit of stuff we've done. And keeping a hold of Josh Brown is, like, a two signings itself in it. Uh, going now, have a good night, yeah, you too, Harvey, thanks for tuning in, man, uh, live stream tomorrow if you want to hop in that one as well, I'm not the game, so we'll be doing a live stream for the West Brom game. The only thing I think we could have done better this window was possibly got more money for the players we sold, do you know what I mean? we Will do, yeah, man, right, yeah, have a nice night, man. That's the only thing I would probably suggest is we could have done better. It's sorted that out. But, I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day, isn't it? We haven't done... Yeah, so Andy Jones has just said... Uh, well, he said this. Under 23s initially is for that... Um, the ex-Chelsea young star will be joining the under 23s initially with potential to move up with us. See, when we brought company in, loads of people said Pace won't back. He will do the same with Daesh, but look what he has done. Yeah, like, he backed Daesh... But Dice just wasn't for that type of thing, do you know what I mean? Um, but I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? Sander Bird staying at Chef United, that could be ropes for us, man. It could be ropes. Trying to find out anything from Andy Jones if I can. 
was something that I saw before the Portland game went on. I've never gone on the pitch, um, and I think the, the one goal that he was um, I'm kind of upset. Like I was, I like I think that I'll be familiar. I thought it was going to go to the wire and possibly get him done, but it looks like it's in the mud now. I mean, unless anything gets revitalised in the next hour and thirty-two minutes, then I think that's us done. Shall I see if I can get a timer on the stream? Actually, does the signing of Bayman mean Taylor won't be sent back anymore? I just think Taylor's just going to be a backup, maybe. To be honest with you, I do. I think he's just going to be a backup for now. Um, but I mean, he's a good backup, isn't he? Like he's been decent. He's been decent. Uh, I would rather we turn around and say no if it's too much. Yeah, exactly. Like, you don't want to go over it. You don't want to go over the bar. Because then you just end up getting taken advantage of. Do you know what I mean? But, I mean, uh, if Barnes is still on the bench tonight, I'm done. Yeah, I know. If, imagine if Barnes is in over, like, Zeru. Like, we don't see Zeru, but Barnes is on bench. Imagine. Imagine. I'd be, I'd be so depressing. I mean, you know where they brought Zuru? They brought him out like 45 minutes before kickoff. Why didn't they bring him out at like half time or like just before kickoff, before the players came out? It would have been such a better idea. To be fair, to get a better. Yeah, he is, but he does make us a bit unsure. Like, he's not very good in the air. Physically, he's not dominant. Um, do you know what I mean? Take the poor dude. <laughs> Our bench is still like, yeah, it's great stuff, man. Oh, I'd take him at Wolves. He though our attendance was shit when he got paraded. Yeah, exactly. Like no one was on. Uh, ben Mee did. Yeah, but I think Ben Mee's different. Ben Mee was already big. He fit already quite built. You know, like all that stuff. Um. Whereas, Barnes should be no any other. Exactly, you shouldn't even be looking at the training squad, man. You wouldn't take him, Strubs Trusters. Good news. What's the good news, man? There, but yeah, it it got higher. Like the, the the attendance rose massively. I think it was practically sold out. I mean, even Millwall was saying one of the best home attendance for a Tuesday night game they've seen, um, which was really good. I mean, even at Wigan, even Wigan fans were saying, "Oh, away spot was unreal." Yes, let's go, man. Good stuff, Strubs. Shouldn't even give him a new contract. Yeah, but I guess we weren't sure on getting strikers in. I mean, third striker option, I'm not too bad. Oh, Richardson, departure from Burnley. Striker Lewis Richardson has joined Skybet League 2 side um, on a season-long loan deal. Signed Gr for Grimsby on a season-long loan deal. Good luck to Richardson. Interesting, interesting. I mean, I would have preferred a League One, but, you know, well, the way Wolves are, you definitely trust us. Glad it was alone. Yeah, he's going to be a good lad. Right, Andy Jones has just said, <laughs> I've just said to Andy Jones, I've asked him, is he on the verge of being told to stand down yet? And he said, he hopes so, he's knackered. So, <laughs> we could be coming to the end. Uh, glad it was alone. Good for him. He needs it. That's good for him. And AF... Uh, AIK, the Barnes extension, was a player option. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, yeah, true. So, Rich on Tuesday night, then turn He's really good. He's really, really good. Oh, Burnley have said a season long loan, but Grimsby have said until January. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? I don't know what I think of that hope so. Does that mean does that mean that you know, like is there something cooking? Is there anything in between the lines we can read on to? I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see. I mean, it's a decent decent move. I'm glad Richardson's got on loan though. That is that is good bit of business in my opinion. Um but we'll see, we'll see. Forest have signed Serge Aurier. Why? There's no need. There's no need. Uh, at least one didn't say a perm. Yeah, exactly true. Um, uh, 
Uh, what we're saying, that's number 29 in it for Forest. 20, no, they're on 23. <laughs> Just in with, where have you seen that? Bit, uh, where have you seen that TikTok, mate? Uh, Forest just saying, yeah, honestly, yeah, it's like 23 for Forest. I agree. Good experience for Richardson, good young. So he is, he's a good talent, man. But yeah, TikTok, where you seen that, man? Only January, only until January seems odd. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. Dov Big looks like he's going off to Trebon Spore. So that, that deal looks pretty much dead. Um, what the fuck, 23. Yeah, it's ridiculous, man. They've got a uh, beard um, and all that sort of thing as well, so. Um, it looks like we could be could be done now. I must say. Must be an old postal Andrew Dice. Love them. I've not. I didn't even know who he was. Jack Henry's gone to that Italian club as well, hasn't he? So that deals off the cards. Can I say Wolf Sword Mongers like 14? That is crazy. Crazy business, man, honestly. Crazy. Watford have just gone back in for Michael Obba family. Five million plus add ons rejected, and they've been pushing since last night. Hello, Johnny. Hope you're doing all right. Uh, uh, Vitinho, one million, don't care. Yeah, Vitinho, unbelievable. That business is crazy, man. If Watford agreed, no, Watford won't, man. The daft, five million, that's literally what we put in, the daft. What's happened? I'm late to the party. Infinite interest. So we've signed two lads. So Halil and um, Bayer are done. Uh, Obafemi deal dead in the water. We're not getting Obafemi, but Bayer is done. Halil done. Bayer with an option to buy Halil just one season loan. Um, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, but we didn't go back for Gabriel. So yeah, I mean, I don't know if he would have fit with to be fair, but yeah. And Richardson and Bobby Thomas have both gone on out on loans. Uh, Watford are now chasing number Femi, but they've gone below what asking price. The two people want on loans too. Yeah, we needed them positions. Um... We've got that Swansea lad here, ball like, yeah, both will make it into the starting lineup, and you know where he plays. Do you think BBC Sport will sort out the fault they call Vitino de Silva? No, that's his actual name. Hello, Mr. K. His actual name is Vitino de Silva, don't worry. Uh, and do you know where he plays? Um, that No, Bubicar Traore, I think, mate. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, both will make it into the starting lineup. Yeah, prob no, Halil, I don't think he'll be in the starting lineup, but Bayer definitely will. Oh, where from? Uh, Mets, I think it is. Uh, Mets, I think. No, not the right back. That's Hamari, I think. January 2023. Mm, that's weird. Uh, Burnley, Brian, I think Bobby Thomas will do well. Yeah, he's really good, him. You think we send the German as a backup so we can sell that one? No, the German's definitely a centre-half, don't worry. Yeah, he'll be he'll be at centre-half with Tyler Howard Bellis, in my opinion. You think French will get a lot of game time? No, I think you probably play a few, the cup games, maybe. Depends if Peacock Farrell goes anywhere, really, doesn't it? I had a feeling he might leave, but he obviously hasn't. I think that's going to be it for to today's for the window, to be honest with you, boys. I think that's probably it for us. So I bet I'm going to end the stream there. We've got a stream tomorrow night. I'm going to get some rest and get ready for tomorrow night. So 
If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, check out the Twitter, Jacob Horsfall underscore, and I'll see you guys in a bit.